When it was announced back in 2021 that Blair Underwood and his then-wife Desiree DaCosta were going their separate ways after three children and 27 years of marriage, fans were shocked. But before anyone had enough time to fantasize about being the next person to ride Blair's bacon bazooka, he stepped out with his friend of 41 years, Josie Hart. Yes, we said 41 years. 41 years. Before y'all start calling Jonathan Rawlins a hound dog, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, butter toffee peanuts, and thousands of five-star reviews. One thing about RRG, we're always going to give you a backstory. And this one starts on August 25th, 1964, when Blair was born in Tacoma, Washington. His dad was a colonel in the U.S. Army, so Blair, his parents, and his two siblings moved around a lot. At the age of 16, he met Josie Hart, and they developed a friendship. Blair told People magazine that his mother loved and adored Josie, but life eventually pulled them in separate directions. Josie settled down on the East Coast, and he headed out to Los Angeles to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. But they always maintained a friendship despite living, quote, parallel, separate lives. He told People magazine, We never saw each other a lot, but when we talked, there's always such a strong connection of just understanding each other. After landing the role of Jonathan Rawlins on L.A. Law, Blair became the hottest thing in Hollywood. The women were tearing down his door, and he wasn't complaining. He told Style Magazine that he was in his early 20s, single, loving life, and enjoying the dating scene. As the years passed by, he grew tired of bouncing from this woman to that woman, so he started planning for the next phase of his life. He purchased a three-bedroom home in the Hollywood Hills, and that same year, he met Desiree DaCosta, who had worked in the industry as Eddie Murphy's assistant. They began a whirlwind romance and got married in September 1994. In an interview with Good Housekeeping, he called Desiree his perfect match. He described her as being very smart, low-key, very passionate, and unbelievably sexy. He also said he trusted her completely. Blair continued making waves in the entertainment industry while Desiree put her career on the back burner to raise their three children, Paris, Brielle, and Blake. Blair told the Las Vegas Black Image website that his family was the most important thing to him. And despite his busy work schedule, he always made time to be present in their lives. It appeared like things were solid at the Underwood household, and they were, for a while. Meanwhile, Burgess Owens was born on August 2, 1951 in Columbus, Ohio. His family later moved to Florida. He was one of the first of four black athletes recruited to play football at the University of Miami. He earned a degree in biology and chemistry and was the 13th pick in the first round of the 1973 NFL Draft. He joined the New York Jets and later played for the Raiders, where he won a Super Bowl. In 1978, he married Josie, and they welcomed six children. In 1982, which was his final year in the NFL, he and Josie were introduced to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints by his Mormon teammate, Todd Christensen. Although he was hesitant to join the church at first, due to their history of banning black people from the temple and priesthood, Burgess and Josie got baptized on December 31, 1982, around 10 p.m., so they could bring in the new year as members of the LDS church. Burgess retired from the NFL, and the family moved to New York in 1983. I left the NFL to start a business. I thought I could never fail, but years later I did and I lost everything. As I moved my family of six into a one-bedroom basement apartment in Brooklyn, New York, I had a choice to make, to feel sorry for myself or get to work. Burgess was asked to teach the gospel to the youth and their family held scripture study sessions each week. They traveled long distances to attend church meetings and activities, and Burgess consistently made the two and a half hour drive to attend the Washington DC temple. As of this video, he's a proud Republican and serves as a US House of Representatives in Utah's fourth congressional district. Oh yeah, and Blair was still in the mix as well. Although he insisted to People Magazine that he didn't see Josie much throughout the years, he later told the publication that his family and Josie's family got along well. He stated, We've always been great friends, and I'm talking about the whole family. Mm hmm. 
After 34 years of marriage, Burgess and Josie got divorced sometime around 2012. Blair's mom lost her battle with multiple sclerosis in October 2020 at the age of 84. Four months later, the day after Valentine's Day 2021 to be exact, Blair and Desiree quietly separated, according to court documents obtained by our nosy sales. Three months later, Blair posted a joint statement on his Instagram to announce they would be ending their marriage, but vowed to remain the best of friends and co-parents. Desiree finally filed for divorce in June 2021 after 27 years of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. People were hoping their divorce proceedings would be a hot, stankin' mess, like some of the other breakups we featured on RRG, but they were disappointed. Blair and Desiree kept things super amicable and respectful. Instead of hiring separate lawyers, they hired a neutral mediator and were able to reach a private settlement agreement. With news that Blair was back on the market, thirsty aunties flooded his Instagram comments to shoot their shot. But little did they know, something was already brewing between Blair and Josie. According to People magazine, they began dating after Blair became single. Five months after Desiree filed for divorce, Blair announced he was engaged to Josie. Damn! He told People Magazine, I just felt like it is the next step in moving forward in my life and doing it together in our lives together. More than anything, Blair was grateful to have the support of his three children, Josie's six children, her grandchildren, and their former spouses. Yep, their exes gave their blessings as well. Oh, ain't that sweet. So was Josie lurking in the background and exercising the patience of Job until she could finally get a chance to rock Blair's world? That doesn't appear to be the case. Blair told People Magazine their relationship evolved in an honorable and platonic way, and he was blessed to have found love in someone who has been around his and his family's life for so long. He added, To find each other in this space when we're both single and looking to see how we'll spend the rest of our lives, it's a beautiful love story. They made their red carpet debut in November 2022 at the Emmys. In an Instagram post, Blair called the moment his personal highlight. He also described Josie as the most amazing, brilliant, beautiful, hilarious, thought-provoking, and insightful person he knows. He added, when a 41-year friendship slaps you in the back of the head and blossoms into romance, you stand up, pay attention, and step forward in gratitude. In June 2023, after 43 years of friendship and exactly one year after Desiree filed for divorce, Blair and Josie got married in front of 100 guests in the Dominican Republic. Blair told People Magazine he was a very hands-on groom and was involved in the planning process since he's a Virgo and a bit of a perfectionist. Joined by their blended family, they sipped on Prosecco and munched on barbecue brisket beef jerky from rrgsnacks.com. I'm just kidding, y'all. Their menu consisted of coconut breaded shrimp and bacon-wrapped plantains. They had their first dance to Tony Terry's song, With You, which Tony performed live as a surprise to Josie. Josie told People Magazine, His vows to hear him say the words he said to me for our forever was incredible. Between our children and all of them giving toasts, the fireworks right after our first dance, the entire day was just beyond my expectations. Now, are y'all ready for some expert research? Many people would consider Blair's new marriage to be a rebound relationship, and common wisdom advises against jumping into a new relationship too soon after a breakup because it can be seen as a distraction that prevents individuals from properly healing. However, according to psychologytoday.com, research shows that rebound relationships are surprisingly healthy. The less time between a breakup and a new relationship generally predicts greater well-being, higher self-esteem, and more respect for a new partner. Evidence also suggests that focusing on a new relationship might be a healthy solution to a difficult breakup. The fact that Blair and Josie have known each other for so long and have built a solid foundation over the decades makes us hesitant to even define their marriage as a rebound. Having been friends first, the comfort of familiarity has likely added fuel to the fire, sparking a quality romance that can certainly go the distance. We wish Blair, Josie, and their family nothing but the best as they embark on this new journey together. 
If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.